On 2nd May 2023, the State Minister for Labor, Employment and Industrial Relations, retired Colonel Charles Patrick Angola Machodogo was shot dead by his bodyguard private Wilson Sabich at his home in Chanja, a Kampala suburb. Retired Colonel Charles Patrick Angola was shot just a day after Labor Day. With more curry, sections of the public went on social media platforms to jubilate over the death of the minister rather than condole with the bereaved family. I want to express a displeasure with unfortunate practice in this country where people celebrate the misfortune of those they don't agree with. It is inhuman. During today's special sitting to pay tribute to the fallen minister, Speaker of Parliament, Anita Mong expressed concern over the growing negative attitude and disrespect of the dead by a section of Ugandans. It is also uncultured and very immoral to celebrate the death of anyone because you hold different or divergent views. Beyond our different political, religious, and uh, affiliations, we are all humans. The speaker's message was recorded by the Director National Enterprise Corporation, Lieutenant James Mugira. The National Resistance Army, which I have now served for almost 40 years, has never been a mercenary force. Our service to our motherland has always been and is out of patriotism and ideological conviction. Mugira condemned the act of mockery by a section of Ugandans who celebrated when the minister died. So the assassination of the minister cannot just be reduced to an issue of raw salary and allowances. This is in this spring period. Yes, there could be and indeed are issues to be addressed. But please, let us not sow seeds of anarchy, hatred, fear and animosity. Mugira warned the public against making baseless speculations in such times and to desist from patronizing the UPDF army and also watering down their sacrifice. In the military we don't speculate. That's why before any military operation we carry out reconnaissance on the enemy to establish the exact enemy strength in terms of personnel and equipment, the enemy locations and intentions, etc. I therefore Enjoying and beseech you gardens out there, stop speculation. An official board of inquiry has been set up. Let us wait for its findings. He, on the contrary, applauded Colonel Charles Engola for his contribution towards recovery of peace in northern Uganda, triumph in all his assignments and missions assigned to him in the Democratic Republic of Congo and South Sudan. We are paying tribute to a variant commander who played a prominent role during counterinsurgency operations in northern Uganda, in the Menakuru area, and as a brigade commander of the Opit Best 501 Brigade, which earned him the praise name Mashodogo, meaning fire is back. At the time of his death, Minister Charles Sengola had made tremendous contributions towards realignment of the labor externalization companies, including cancellation of licenses of unscrupulous companies. He was also exploring and negotiating for new opportunities for employment of migrant workers abroad. And he had sat with the Association of Migrant Workers and others to look at the market in Europe. Born on 12th October 1958, Colonel Charles Engola Machodogo died at the age of 65. He will be laid to rest in his home district of Oyam on Saturday, 13th May 2023. Susan Naonga reporting for ABC TV.